Welcome back to Afternoon Express on SABC3, where the stage is yours. Now, roasts aren't just for the festive season. They're perfect for meal prepping, and once you've roasted off your favorite cut of beef, turkey or gammon, it means that for weeks to come, you've got weeks' worth of dishes ready in minutes. Now, today, Chef Clem prepares a mouth-watering toasted cheese sandwich packed full of rich festive flavors. Clem... This recipe has already got my mind buzzing and crazy. spinning and twirling and whirling because you're packing a lot of things in the sandwich. And I'm kind of a turkey type of girl. Okay. But I want to see you yeah. create this with gammon. It's this not is gammon. really my recipe. I was inspired by this recipe when I went to a wine farm one day and they were like, oh, really? we're serving gammon and green fig toasted cheese sandwiches. And I was like, what? Wow. And then I tried it and I was like, this is my new thing. This is a thing. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So it's very, I'm very try simple. It. Taking the brie out, very hmm. important. You always take a cheese out a little bit before, same as earlier. Yes. Take a cheese yes. out before you actually work with it, especially a soft cheese like a brie. Oh, yum. Okay. You want to kind of like let it rest, and when it starts getting a bit soft, you can see, you can, mm. if you take it out the fridge, we wouldn't wouldn't have that like little bit the of bounce like, back. Bounce. Yes. Yeah, bounce back. <laughs> the bounce back. So cool. Now I can cut your pieces. Don't be like precious about the thin slices. Give it some. Yeah, some meat to there it. There we go. Some chunkiness. Oh. And Clem, okay, I know right now you're using brie, mm -hmm. but are we able to substitute it with another cheese, like blue cheese? Yeah. So we've got a blue cheese over there. That's the blue rock. I go to mm. Woody's for all my cheeses, right? I'm spoiled yeah, for choice. Standard, standard. Everything's there. Everything's there. So it makes life so easy. The, what you are looking for is a cheese that will complement well with the sweetness of the figs and oh, the yes. smokiness of the gammon. Okay. Those are your cues. So blue cheese, mm. a strong cheddar cheese, mm. the brie, camembert, they all work perfectly. Okay, so it's basically all about the balance, balancing your flavors. Everything is about balance in life. In life. You know. It's it a life lesson cheese. here in the kitchen there on Afternoon Express. <laughs> <laughs> cheese done. I'm loving the sourdough bread right now from Willis. Can you pass mm. the bag to me? Of course. It just works really well as a toasted cheese sandwich because it's got mm. a lot of like flavor itself. And it's soft. And it's, and it's a crushed wheat, you know, you bring a little healthy. Mm. That's, we what, have that's to. what it's about. So cool, let's get that open. Okay. Like that. So can you pass me the jar with the figs in as well? Yes. I'm actually going to use some of the syrup that's in there. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, good yeah. trick. For more flavor. That's it. Here we go. So there we go. I'm going to make one for you, one for me. Jeannie. Yeah. Oh, Jeannie's having one as well. Jeannie has to have one. Okay, cool. Cheese down. Cheese always closest to the break because that's going to be going on the heat. You want that to melt. So oh, cheese yes. down okay. first. Okay. Good to know. I like this. One whole thing of brie for two sandwiches. Uh, you did yes. say we're not being stingy no, with our not. cheese. So we're okay. going all in. Gammon down. Oh, and I like the size of that gammon slice. Yeah, we're not playing. <laughs> we're not Let's playing. Let's see. So do, 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 do. Yes. Yeah, and then the figs. Figs go down. And the figs work so well. You think mm. again, the sweetness of the figs with the saltiness and mm. that smokiness of the gammon. Okay. That's exactly what you want. Then, oh, I've got syrup here already. Oh, so you didn't need... Okay, yeah. Sorry. Making but now people know how strong you are. They saw the ease which you open the jar with. Exactly. Drizzle over that green fig syrup. Oh, okay. Just like that. We're cheesing on both sides, guys. Okay, and then you just kind of top it up at the top there? Yeah, yeah, So yeah. what have you put in the pan so far? Just a little the... bit of butter. Just a little bit of butter. And that's going to help you get okay. that nice golden brown color on your bread. Nice, okay. Done. What I normally do is that I normally um, butter the bread first, mm -hmm. but then it's a sticky situation. Now I've got you know, butter on my hands before I put board. it in. This is a good clever in trick. In the pan's good. And before you turn it over, pop them on the side, add mm. another bit of butter, then mm. turn, it, turn it around. So you're sure you're getting that brownness evenly on both, on both sides. sides. It's delicious. It's amazing. We're going to be like nice and healthy, serve it with a bit of a salad. Yeah. Got you for a salad. Lunch is done. Lunch is done. Mm. Yeah. Lunch on you today. <laughs> now, who thought that a toasted cheese sandwich could be so Decadent. Now, to get your hands on this mouth-watering mouth recipe, SMS the keyword EAT to 33650, and we'll send the recipe link and ingredients list to your phone.